midnight, the West German flag, now the flag of all of Germany, is raised at the old Parliament building, the first act of a fully sovereign Germany of almost 80 million people, the most powerful country in Europe. More than a million Germans are out on the streets of Berlin tonight, celebrating the birth of a united Germany in what is once again its official capital. A giant street party stretches from the historic Brandenburg Gate into both halves of the city. It's a fantastic time. It's very good. We like it. <laughs> The official celebration began on a more stately note with the performance of Beethoven's Ninth in East German Concert Hall. Out on the streets, the newly united Berlin police have had their hands full trying to head off trouble from small bands of anarchists and neo-Nazis. Law and order is purely a German responsibility now. This morning, the Western Allies officially gave up the rights they have held in Germany since World War II. In a ceremony symbolizing the end of American occupation, the stars and stripes were lowered on a sour note. In East Berlin, officials bailed out of government offices, carrying off files and personal possessions. Forty-five years of communist government ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. We worked 40 years at this bureaucrat for nothing. They will join the diplomats, judges, and millions of other East Germans who will soon be unemployed. A crowd gathered for the last changing of the guard at the anti-fascist memorial, the East German regime's most sacred shrine. It was the ceremonial end of the communist era and the beginning of the capitalist generation. Some were sorry to see the old ways go.
many people in the world who really don't understand or say they don't. What is the great issue between the free world and the communist world? Let them come to Berlin! Freedom has many difficulties, and democracy is not perfect. But we have never had to put a wall up to keep our people in, to prevent them from leaving us. All, all free men, wherever they may live, are citizens of Berlin. And therefore, as a free man, I take pride in the word, Ich bin ein Berliner. There are many people in the world who really don't understand or say they don't. What is the great issue between the free world and the communist world? Let them come to Berlin. Freedom has many difficulties. And democracy is not perfect. But we have never had to put a wall up to keep our people in to prevent them from leaving us. All in the communist world, all three men we see failure. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable. And therefore, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. In the word, General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate.
window filters, no checks. At midnight, the border was thrown open and the crowd surged through the open gates. The border guards withdrew and watched. Their amazement matched by the mounting excitement of a people suddenly free to do what they wanted. This is the middle of the checkpoint. The police are making no attempt to stop people. The gates have been thrown open and thousands of people are pouring over to take a look at a West. In some cases, their first look and the elation is enormous. But these were not people abandoning their country. Most were simply heading for the night out of their lives. They discovered what was happening by watching West German television and they'd come running as they were to join the party. Some were taking the opportunity to leave for good baggage and families, still unconvinced even by this dramatic gesture that real change is happening in East Germany, but they will be accepted. We want to, like to have the experience to go this way and we want to go back to our country. You don't want to stay in the West? No, never. What are you going to do when you get into West Berlin? Now we are friends and we like to visit them and this is all and we want to see some Many queued eagerly to get an official stamp on their papers to prove that they've been there on the night the Berlin Wall crumbled. Beyond the fortifications, a crowd of West Berliners waited. In two nations, one people merged into a joyful reunion. It was hardest for those old enough to remember how it had been 28 years ago before the war. But the narrow opening allowed by these Germans wasn't enough to cope with the press of people. Some started to climb over the fence itself, others found another way through it. Playing a little with the fence! Did you ever expect to do this? No, no, no. never. And then they forced open another gate and piled through it. It was a cheerfully anarchic night. Obstacles were unceremoniously removed. The border was no longer sacrosanct and its guardians were flabbergasted. After 10,000 people had gone through, the West German authorities stopped counting. And by now, West Berliners were going into the East to coax their friends out. I'm from West Berlin, it's my friend from East Berlin. And that you're going to take them over. There were instant celebrations on the pavements and more to follow. People jumped aboard buses and headed for the bright lights of West Berlin city centre. Few had any West German money, but tonight they weren't going to need it. But behind the gaiety there were supercharged emotions, as people remember the decade they'd been separated from friends and relatives. In the centre of divided Berlin, the Brandenburg Gate straddles the border, normally forbidden to people from both sides. Troops stand guard over it, but tonight they too were to be forced away by people power. Berliners from both East and West linked hands and danced around their liberated territory. And behind them, people scrambled 